Hey everybody, welcome behind the scenes here at Jamie Riddler Studios. I am Jamie and I'm so glad to be spending time with you today. I'm so glad that I'm like leaning in. <laughs> I am sorry that I wasn't here last week. A storm rolled in and sometimes that makes my head feel all wonky. And when that happens, I let myself ride with it. And because we are getting everything ready for the Fall Academy, I didn't have any wiggle room to make up and do it another day, which is a, a great reminder to me and maybe to you too, to build in wiggle room. <laughs> I definitely could do that more often. We're having a really great time behind the scenes, building the Fall Academy, getting ready for the new classes, and looking farther forward than that into some brand new things I'm excited to be shifting into in the time ahead. I hope you will join me for a lot of that. If you want first notice of all classes, come on over to openthedoor.ca, sign up, and you will be sure to get all the information about new things that are coming. Today, I wanted to talk to you about something that is a core studio principle. It's something that I share with people all the time, that I invite people to come back to all the time, which is to start inside first. And what I mean by that is in this world, if you come across something that you are learning, if you come across something you are responding to, if you come across uh, art, a book, a movie, um, a philosophy, a news piece, a television program, um, anything, literally anything, to instead of looking around to see how's everybody reacting to this, do we like this? Do we like this? Is this good? Is this okay? I don't know. How, to have our own experience, to come up with our own response, just inside. There's a reason we do that socially, but just to have our own moment of reflection. One of the places that I see this all the time, and I used to even teach something around this, I used to do something called tarot coaching, and uh, is that when you're learning to read tarot cards, people put it down and they'll do, the, and then they'll immediately pick up their reference book or immediately look online and say, oh, what, what does the Ace of Wands mean again? Or, you know, but instead, Stop, look, open your mind, open your heart, and have your own reaction. And it's amazing how little we do this. And one of the ways I became really aware of it was the first time. I used to, many years ago, I did a job where I had odd hours. So I might have to work at 11 in the morning and then I didn't have to work again till seven, but I didn't have um, the ability to go home in between. So I would sometimes maybe go to a movie by myself. And I remember the first time I went to a movie by myself during the day. So it was literally me and maybe one other guy in the audience and that's it. Uh, and it was such an incredibly different experience because there wasn't a whole crowd leading the laughter or I wasn't thinking about, oh, Justin wouldn't like that or, ooh, Shannon would find that scary or like I was only in my own experience. And until that moment, I actually didn't realize how often I was anticipating the experience of others. I think highly sensitive, as highly sensitive people, we do that naturally. I think if you're a caretaker of any kind, you tend to do that too. You're always looking out for everybody, sort of checking all the points. So as creative people though, as creative, highly sensitive creative people, we wanna be able to have our own personal reaction and point of view that is in a direct response to life, the world, art, our own experiences. We want to hone in on what do I feel about that? 
And this is new also because I think school trains us to look for the right answer. There is a right answer. There's an answer at the back of the book. There's an answer that the teacher has. And so we risk saying something and we're waiting like, was that right? Did I get it right? Often, particularly in the world of the arts, there's no right answer. There's your answer. And especially as you as an artist are looking to find your unique voice, your point of view that only you can have, that nobody else has the same lived experience as you do. Nobody else has the same perspective you do. Nobody else had the same day that you had. And so in that moment, if you can tap into, tune into your honest, authentic response, that's where the uniqueness of your voice lives. If you look around and go, Is everybody, what, what's everybody else doing? You, you're going to create and share things that everybody else is doing. It's not that that's bad, but that there's something magical, something beautiful, something deep, something real that's in you that as an artist you want to get to. Also, you may just offer up some fresh take some new piece to a puzzle that we are all waiting for. You may open up the eyes of other people who have different experiences. You may expand our horizons by adding your voice. That's still in the context of other people. There's also the value of you knowing, standing in, being in strong relationship to your self. We can get so used to dancing with expectations that we can forget that we even have the space, the right, the need to know, what do I feel about this? Independent of how it's going to impact this person, independent on whether I think this person would approve, independent of what I've done in the past, independent of anything other than my heart, my mind, my intellect. How do I respond to this in this moment? So I encourage you to practice that this week to Stop and ask yourself, just in your own heart, what do I think about this? Independent of everything else, what's my response to this? Take it to your journal. Sometimes it helps a lot to get it out, to have a safe and sacred private place where you can express your point of view so that you can strengthen it, acknowledge it, rest into it, a lot of confidence and authenticity comes from this right relationship, this authentic relationship between what is true and real in your heart and how you are out in the world. And so a lot of that begins and a lot of artistry comes from looking inside first. So I offer that up for you this week. I hope it is useful. I will be here next Tuesday and then I am going to take a break, have a little bit of summer space to continue to get ready for the fall in the academy. And again, I really encourage you to come on over to openthedoor.ca and sign up for the newsletter and you will be able to get first news of all the classes that are coming. I hope you'll join me on some of these great adventures. And I'll just, I'll tell you a secret that Journal Club is coming back. Yay! It's going to be our 10th season and I'm not sure that I'm going to offer it again. So this is going to be celebratory and special. And um, if you've always wanted to be a part of Journal Club, I encourage you to take part now. Now is your time. And uh, have a great week. I... <music>